we had went and bought like a white dress. I think it had like frills and lace and, you know, it's a pretty dress for baptism day. And I put that on and we went to the church and then I had to change into the white gown. And I just remember the texture of the fabric. It was just so uncomfortable. It was, And it, I remember thinking, they're gonna be able to see through this. Everyone is gonna see me naked <laughs> and I have to put this on. And I powered through it. I went through the whole deal and um, my dad baptized me and I came out of the water and I remember looking in the mirror afterwards and realizing, yeah, everybody could see my underwear <laughs> right through it. But that wasn't the only thing that Janae realized on that revealing day. This was the first day when being Mormon didn't seem quite right. So it was kind of a sense of honor to be accepted into the Mormon church with baptism. But um, there was also that level of, now I'm a part of the Mormon church and I'm responsible and accountable to my sins. So that was just part of the beginning of the burden. Well, it was just a deep gut feeling that something wasn't quite right. So I always had a sense that God was bigger than me and he was holy. And so when I was baptized, standing there being very vulnerable, it, it was very eye-opening to me that like, this is what it looks like to be um, right with God is, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm standing there in front of everybody, totally feeling like I'm standing there naked, like one of those worst dream scenarios. But also I, I felt like, okay, from here on out, God is gonna see me differently. And so it was just a shift of the way that I saw God because even years after that, I started to think that God wasn't as big as he was. I started to have this um, idea that he wasn't who I thought he was after that baptism. So it kind of went probably downhill from there. <laughs> Seeing both herself and God differently, Janae began to doubt her relationship with Heavenly Father and exactly what it meant to be and live as His child. 